fan. Someone just snapped me, so I just stopped streaming now. I have a feeling I know who it was, too. That ball's popped up into right field. Will Kaczynski, the first baseman, will get out, and that will end the top of the inning for the Coyotes. Obviously, if you are a fan of Calabasas, the one run coming in, not what you want to see. Maybe they, meet, maybe they need to be more wary on the base paths, getting as many runners as possible out. But one run, definitely manageable, and it's definitely not the worst that could happen for the Coyotes as they go into the bottom of the first. Leading off for your Coyotes, let's, let's take a quick look at the Coyote batting order. Leading off will be Nate Castellon. Coming in at second will be Matthew, Whit Matthew Whitcow. Hitting third will be Simon Hoffman. Hitting fourth will be your catcher, Will Stubbington. Fifth, Mason Schulman. Sixth, AJ Seidel. Seventh, DHing, Brandon Hoffman. Eighth, Eamon Lynch. And ninth, Zach Rubenstein. Definitely a lineup filled of juniors and seniors. A lot of guys who were on the team last year when they won CIF and you know, graduated to D1 for lack of a better word, or graduated to Division One for lack of a better word. They they're used to success. They've experienced success at some of the highest levels possible. You want to see if they can do the same here, and even if just in this game, in this moment, get that success against Westlake. Somebody, somebody, somebody unplugged my power. Pitching for the Westlake Warriors is Dylan Volantis, the senior, number 77. Catching him, Nolan, or yeah. Catching him, Nolan Johnson. 77 and 55, sounds like a fifth grade math problem. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I'm so grateful to have you here. Leading off for the Coyotes, Nate Castellon, the, the Cal Poly commit. I mean, the guy's a winner. There's not much more you can say about him. And that first pitch will be a walk. One of the most notable things about Nate is he has a great eye for the ball. If he can get that walk, he will. He's a great hitter all around. The guy wins, the guy gets on base. And he won't get on base there. Wonderful play made by the third baseman, Caden Eumanns. Here 
good to go. Keep your phone on or check it from occasion. Just to make sure. It's going to be ball one. Hitting in the two hole, Matthew Whitcow. Matthew Whitco, my apologies, made this mistake before. Matthew Whitco smacks one to short, but it's a bad hop, and he'll make his way to first. Nate Johnson looked like an easy play for him, but it just got a bad hop, hit off the tarmac, took a jump. And he will find his way onto first as the first.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Lee Atkinson on the bump for the Coyotes. He's currently facing number 22, Johnny Backus, the Westlake designated hitter. Backus, one of the many seniors on this team. Johnny Backus will fire one into the foul netting. It's going to be an 0-2 count very quickly. Johnny Backus fires one in between first and second base. Mason Shulman and Wright will pick the ball up, but Backus will have reached base long before then. Absolute missile off the bat of Johnny Backus. Coming up to bat right now, Will Stead, the second baseman, utility player for the Warriors. He's going to take the first ball outside. Second ball will be too low. 2-0 two count for Noah Stead. That ball's rocketed. Oh no, AJ Seidel misses the play and runners will advance to first and second. Looked like a routine play for AJ Seidel, but can't make it. And that means Noah Stead will find first. Johnny Backus will find second. And Jack Brattle, the right fielder, might find a runner in scoring position. You saw a little button motion there. Coyote dugout calling out hack. Very organized as a team. Let's see if they can put that organization into stopping any more runs bleeding through them. That's going to be a ball in play. Can Subs get there fast enough? No, he can't. That ball is going to be out of the first baseman's hands. Johnny Baggett scores. Will Stead goes to third. Noah Stead goes to third. And that is misfortune for the Coyotes. Jack Brattle with a bunt double. Not a bunt double, not a phrase I ever thought I'd say. But here we are. Will Stubbs tried to make the play to first base. First baseman just couldn't get there. That's going to be two runs on the board for the Westlake Warriors. If you're a Coyote fan, that is absolutely not what you want to see. And if you're a Westlake fan, you are jumping for joy right now. Mac McKinley, the left fielder, with runners in scoring position. Can he push the knife through Calabasas' back any further? He'll foul that ball off. Again, just a reminder, runners on second and third. Noah Stead, Jack Brattle, Lee Atkinson, with zero outs, needs to work his way out of this jam. That's going to be a strike. Mac McKinley attempting the bunt. You saw how well that worked for the Warriors last time. Maybe trying to get some more fortune.
It's going to be a ball. One, two count for Mac McKinley. And that's going to be a strike. Lee Atkinson gets his first out of the inning. In steps Dylan Marisette, the center fielder. The Warriors have reset their hitting lineup for the first time this game. Lee Atkinson really needs to lock in and face the pressure if he wants to get out of this jam. That ball's rocketed in between middle and right. A right field will get there. However, Noah Stead will advance. The sack fly from Dylan Marisette will score one. And that's three runs on the board in two innings for the Westlake Warriors. They have come out swinging, and I mean that literally. Lee Atkinson with the ball. In the batter's box is Caden Newmans right now, the third baseman. Newman sends the ball to Nate Castell on a short. Zach Rubenstein reaches out and he'll get the third out of the of the inning. Third out at the top of the inning. Sorry. The Coyotes escape with only two more runs added to their total. It's definitely it's definitely not the end of the world for the Coyotes, but if they want to, you know, establish the fact that they're here, they're in this game, they need to do it sooner rather than later. Hi, Mom. How you doing? Mason Shulman, your right fielder in the batter's box. Shulman has been great the last few games that we've seen him. He gets on base consistently. He might even hit for a little bit of power. I am not just saying that to boost his draft stock. It's true. Bottom of the second inning. Dylan Volantis on the bump. Mason Shulman in the batter's box. And that'll be a fastball right down the middle from Volantis. He's throwing with some heat right now. We've seen him get batters out on that curveball. If he can match it with that fastball, it's going to be dangerous. That ball's little inside. 1-1 one, one count for Mason Schulman.
That's going to be a second ball. Umpire referring to the first base umpire to see if he went. He didn't. Calabasas dugout trying to get in the head of Dylan Volantis. And that ball is foul, barely. Mason Shulman. That ball goes just a few inches to the left. Might end up in the deep caverns of right field. Two two count from Mason Shulman. He's making contact. He just needs to make contact in the correct places. That's going to be a ball just above the strike zone. Volantis' slider there, I believe. And that's going to be the fourth ball of the at-bat. My Mason Shulman will reach base via the walk. A.J. Seidel, the junior, will look to do something with Shulman, with Shulman being on base. Pickoff attempt on Mason Shulman. That's going to be a ball. Again, just above the strike zone. Volantis has the power. He has the heat. He just needs to find the location. We've seen that he can. It depends on his consistency. That ball's rocket into the right, uh, <laughs> right foul netting. Cassidy getting a talk with Seidel right now. On deck right now is Brandon Hoffman, the DH. One one count. AJ Seidel against Dylan Volantis. That ball is going to be outside. That's going to be the third ball. A.J. Seidel, the 2016 Warriors, up 3-1. Let's just hope he doesn't choke this one, like the Warriors did. And that ball is going to be way inside. A.J. Seidel reaches base, and we have runners on first and second for the Coyotes. The Westlake Warriors having a meeting on the mound right now. We've seen Volantis earlier this game be great at locating the ball, at getting ground balls that can be well fielded by his infielders. It'd be surprising if he suddenly just starts to lose it. Also, fun fact that I learned against the game on San Dimas. Uh, the Calabasas timeout song is the chicken dance. That's really funny. Currently batting right now, Brandon Hoffman, the Coyote designated hitter. Hoffman obviously has a lot of power. He's in that DH role for a reason. Let's see if he can get at least Shulman home.
That ball is just foul. Heartbreaking for Brandon Hoffman. He hit it with a ton of velocity. Got past the first baseman, but just escapes the confines of the field. Dylan Volantis. Low fastball will get Hoffman to swing and miss. 0-2 count. Brandon Hoffman needs to fight his way back if he wants to stay in this at-bat. Dylan Volantis. That's going to be a foul ball. I'm not sure how the ball went that trajectory, but it did. If you're a Coyote fan, you're hoping that this pitch is only the first of Brandon Hoffman fighting to stay in this at-bat. That's going to be inside. Brandon Hoffman, first walk of the at-bat. One, two count for Brandon Hoffman against Dylan Volantis. It is windy, man. And that ball will get the short. He'll make the play himself. Nate Johnson tags second. Fires it to Will Kaczynski, and that'll be two outs spawning from zero. And the Westlake Warriors have made the bottom of this inning so much easier on themselves. However, Mason Schulman in the commotion did advance to third, and Eamon Lynch, the center fielder, might have a chance to drive him home. Wide slider. We'll get the strike on it. That's a pitch and a half. It's going to be a ball. One, one count, two outs on the Dollar Hyde Field scoreboard. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes, two outs, one man on third. Eamon Lynch needs to get something here if he wants the Coyotes to get some amount of momentum. And he won't! Dylan Volantis punches out Eamon Lynch. And that'll be zero runs for the Coyotes in the span of two innings. T three runs for the Warriors in the span of two innings. And if you are a Westlake fan, I'm not sure you could be starting better.
Hi, sorry, apologies for the wait. It's going to be a 1-2 count for Lee Atkinson against Nate Johnson, the shortstop. Nate Johnson hit well in his last at-bat. Westlake hoping that he can do the same in this. And that ball is going to be fouled. 2-2 two -two count already. That's going to be a ball. Full count for Nate Johnson. And that ball sent into left field. It'll be caught by Simon Hoffman. Currently batting is Nolan Johnson, the catcher. He'll start off with a ball outside, 1-0 count. Lee Atkinson finds the strike zone. All ones up on the scoreboard. What do you call it, like snake eyes and a half? That ball sent into right field, and it'll land. Nolan Johnson will reach base off of a possible miscommunication by the Coyotes. Currently in the batter's, right, batter's box right now is Will Kaczynski, the first baseman. Pickoff attempt on Nolan Johnson. Nolan Johnson will make his way back to first base. Pickoff attempt number two. Can we get a third? Again, Will Kaczynski in the batter's box right now. No pitchers haven't thrown to Kaczynski yet. This looks like it's going to be the first. And that's sent. Center fielder will, cut, will catch it. Right between center and right. But Eamon Lynch will hustle and get there. Johnny Backus, who scored last inning, will start off his at bat with a swing strike. That ball is lightly hit to third. Matthew Whitco will make the play. Zach Rubenstein. That'll end the top of the inning for the Coyotes. And they com successfully complete their first top of the inning of the game without getting a run scored on them. Absolutely progress that you want to see if you're a Coyote fan.
little bit of downtime on our hands. Hey, Grandma. Hey, guys at home. How you guys doing? A little bit of practice in the Coyote dugout right now. Next hitter likely going to be Zach Rubenstein, the senior first baseman, and I believe ASB president. We love him. We love him, we do. Dylan Volantis again on the mound for his third inning of work. He's pitching a shutout currently. And yes, I say that as we've only played two innings. <laughs> Zach Rubenstein will be the batter starting off the bottom of the third inning for the Calabas Coyotes. Dylan Flint is pitching against him. Nolan Johnson catching for him. Weak grounder will make its way to second. Noah Steed will make the play to Will Kaczynski at first. That'll be the first out for the Coyotes. Not the way that you want to start if you're a Coyote fan. Stepping into the batter's box is Nate Castellon. Cal Poly commit. And he'll get a strike handed on the tip of the zone from Dylan Valentis. 0 oh, 1 count. And that'll be a 1 1 count. Ones all over the Dollar Hyde Field scoreboard. Slider of dreams from Dylan Volantis. Once he starts finding that pitch consistently, the Coyotes will really need to adapt to it. Dylan Volantis just trading balls and strikes right now, 2-2 two, two count. Ladies and gentlemen, we've hit a full count for Nate Castellon. Three balls, two strikes, one out, and zero batters on base for Calabasas. Let's see if Nate Castellon can change that. And he will. Four walks, sorry, four balls, makes a walk, makes one Nick Castellano on first base. The Nate Castellon pickoff attempt. It's like checking off a bingo board. In the batter's box right now, Matthew Whitco. He'll start the at bat with a strike, 0 1 count. Nate Castellon. Trying to steal. And he'll get second base easily. However, 
that will be a strike on the basis of Dylan Valentis. 1-1 one, one count. That's going to be two balls, one strike for Matthew Whitco. Swing and a miss on the heater from Dylan Valentis. And that's going to be the end of Matthew Whitco's at bat. Simon Hoffman in the batter's box right now. He has Nate Castellon on second, but he also has two outs. A good two and a bad two. And if Nate crosses two more bases, that will mark the first run for the Coyotes. So you got to assume... Strike call. Strike called on the heater from Dylan Volantis. 1-1 one, one count, two outs. Stolen base attempt from Nate Castellon, and he'll get to third. I thought Ricky Henderson retired. Update, Ricky Henderson was left-handed. That doesn't matter. In the batter's box right now, Will Stubbington. Wild pitch from Dylan Volantis. Sorry, Simon Hoffman still in the batter's box. Claims that the pitch hit his foot. The umpires conferring on whether it did. Wow! They're going to mark it as the fact that it didn't hit his foot. Coach Cassidy amazed by that decision. The Calabasas crowd roaring in anger. Simon Hoffman will continue the at-bats. One ball, two strikes, sorry, two balls, two strikes, two outs. We got deuces on the board, everybody. And one runner, one Nate Castellon on third. Simon Hoffman looking to turn bad luck into something good. And Dylan Volantis will take his second chance with grace. Heater down the middle on Simon Hoffman. That'll end the third inning.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. In the batter's box for Westlake right now is Noah Sneed. Noah Steed. I can't get this guy's name right. Noah Steed. Neither team scored runs last inning. Deviation for the Warriors so far this game. But something that Calabas is happy to see, honestly. He'll start this at bat off with a foul ball. And Lee Atkinson will respond with throwing a ball of his own. 1-1 one, one count. And that's a weak ground hit to Nate Castillo. Zach Rubenstein stretches, will make the play. One out for the Coyotes. Jack Brattle, who scored the last time he was up here, will enter the batter's box. Check swing straight into the right foul netting. <laughs> One of the most powerful check swings I've ever seen. That would have gone out in my right field of Yankee Stadium. Anyway, all ones on the scoreboard right now. One ball, one strike. That ball's hit the second. AJ, AJ Seidel can't make the play. And Jack Brattle will make his way all the way to second. Miscommunication from the Coyotes all the way out in center field. And it looks like someone might be injured. It might be AJ Seidel on the Coyotes. He's back up and jumping. How's your guys' March Madness going? I bet on a Mississippi State against Michigan State. Mississippi State. They were higher seeded and they, they lost. So my bracket uh, was off to a swimming start, but, you know, we, we were doing good otherwise. I bet against Creighton, which wasn't good, but, you know, stuff happens. Looks like AJ Seidel is going to be helped off with Coach Cassidy. Although there might be more to ask him defensively at the second base position. The guy showed a lot of heart, and there's nothing more you can ask for in that. Chris Cotton is going to be replacing him at second base position. Chris Cotton, we've seen him at second base I think in almost every other game that we've casted. He's a regular there. He knows how to make the plays. He knows how to get on base. Really, nothing much more you could ask for. Mac McKinley up in the batter's box right now. Reminder that Jack Brattle got second off of a missed play at second base. Lee Atkinson will get the swing and a miss. It's all ones on the scoreboard. Looks like a really bad game of dice. Right, 
Swing and a miss again. On the same pitch, just a little bit outside. He's gotten McKinley on the last two pitches. Let's see if he changes it up or he sticks to the same game plan. Throws the same pitch, just a little more inside the strike zone, and it'll be called a ball. Two balls, two strikes for back McKinley. That ball is going to be fouled. Mac McKinley's fighting. <laughs> Swing and a miss, Lee Atkinson. He's on fire. Dylan Marisette will reset the batting order. And he'll try to do something with a man on second and two outs. First pitch is going to be outside. Pickoff attempt to Chris Cotton to get Jack Brattle out. Brattle will stay safe. It's going to be the second ball of the inning. 2 0 -oh count. Dylan Marisette. That ball's going to be just a bit high. 3-0 count. Dylan Marisette working it right now. And that's going to be a strike. Lee Atkinson will find it. Let's see if he can continue off that pitch. That'll be hit to Chris Cotton. He gets Zach Rubenstein. They'll make the play, and that'll end the inning. Jack Brattle makes his way to second, but he's stranded. And the top of the fourth. Sorry. Yeah, and the top of the fourth will end like that.
We are back in the bottom of the fourth. In the batter's box will be Stubbs, Will Stubbington. Looking to make the first impact of runs for the Coyotes this game. He'll start off well with the ball. That'll be two balls to the good for Will Stubbs. That'll be the first strike for Don Volantis. He's been great at that um that sinking fastball. Stubbs sends it into right field. It'll be caught by Jack Brattle. That'll be the first out for the Westlake Warriors this inning. Mason Schulman in the batter's box right now. Your right fielder for this game will start the at bat off with the ball. That'll be two balls. Both him and Stubbs started their at bats off well. That'll be three balls. Mason Shulman looking to get this at bat over and done sooner rather than later. Dylan Volantis has something to say about that. 3 1 count. Mason Shulman, just one more ball and he'll reach first. Swinging strike on a low fastball almost brings him to his knee. Singular. Full count, three balls, two strikes, one out, and zero batters for the Coyotes on base. Will Mason Schulman change that? He'll keep fighting, sending a ball to the upper foul netting. And Mason Shulman will make his way on base. Chance Cotton coming up for his first plate appearance of the game. He's replacing A.J. Seidel, who was injured on a play at second base last inning. Chris Cotton, very disciplined hitter. Dylan Volantis will test that discipline. Fastball down the middle for strike one. That'll be a high fastball. Mason Schulman may be thinking about running, but Nolan Johnson will recover in time. That ball will be popped up. It'll be two outside Dollar Hyde Field for Will Kaczynski to attempt to get it. Oh, 
Slider of Dreams from Dylan Volantis. He'll strike Chris Cotton now. That's the first time Chris Cotton seeing that slider. And I think even if he had seen it a hundred times, I don't know if he would have been ready for that. That ball is way out to center. Mason Shulman will make his way to third. That won't matter. That'll be the end of the inning. Three, Westlake, zero, Calabasas. We are back on. Caden Newman's the third baseman. Will make his way to first through a single off Lee Atkinson. Newman's immediately making that impact. Nate Johnson in the batter's box right now. Swing and a miss. Lee Atkinson gets the pitch just over him. Take off attempt on Caden Humans. Humans will stay safe. Pickoff attempt again on Caden Humans. Nate Johnson, one ball, one strike to his name. Two balls. Pitch goes under Will Stubbington's legs, but Humans does not decide to advance. Lee Atkinson. Third pickoff attempt. We could get the third. Um, that means you're going to have good luck for a month. Congratulations. Oh. 
Three, one count. Nate Johnson looking to get on base here. He'll smack that. And that'll be counted foul. Right on the line. Nate Johnson, if that ball goes through, there's a chance that Caden Newman scores. He at least gets a third. Brutal outcome for the Westlake Warriors. And now it's finally past the third baseman, Matthew Whitco. Nate Johnson making good on his promise to hit it towards that third base side. He'll advance Caden Humes to second. And Nolan Johnson, the catcher, has a chance to do something real big here. Coyotes conferring on the mound right now. Nolan Johnson again has the chance to do something real big. Is he ready for the moment or can Lee Atkinson get the first out of the top of this inning? That'll be one strike. Two strikes, Lee Atkinson. Can he find one more? That's gonna be the first ball of the at bat. One ball, two strikes, one out for the Coyotes. That ball smacked to right field. It'll be caught. Testing him at third base. And the throw is a bit wide. Caden Humans will make his way to third. Currently at batting right now. Will Kaczynski sends one to deep center field, but Eamon Lynch will catch it. He'll test the runner at home. No, he won't. He'll send it to the cutoff man at second. Caden Humans marks the fourth run for the Westlake Warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, we're five and a little bit innings deep into, sorry, we're four and a little bit of innings deep into the game. The Coyotes have yet to produce not only a runner, but they've only produced one person on base who got there from a hit. The Coyotes need to start, they need to start soon. That ball's rocketed out, it's foul. Dylan Backus, sorry, Johnny Backus, absolutely rockets one to the right field foul line. 
Mason Shulman's had a few close calls with balls that way. I think he's grateful that one stayed foul. That'll be two strikes against Johnny Backus. One more strike, and Calabas can end it here. That'll be a foul ball. Swing and a miss. Lee Atkinson escapes the only one run to his name. Even though the score sheet may not say, or even though the score sheet may not agree, Lee Atkinson, Lee Atkinson has been pitching a great game. The senior ace. Really not much more good you can say about him. Eamon Lynch, center fielder, up to bat right now. He's looking to start something for the Coyotes. Any sense of momentum is what they want, unfortunately. That'll be a ball hit straight and lightly to the second baseman, Noah Steed. He'll tap it lightly to first. That'll be the first out of the inning against the Calabas Coyotes. That's going to be a strike. Zach Rubenstein. Oh, one count. That ball is going to be popped up, and it will be foul. That ball is going to be foul. Zach Rubenstein's fighting. Oh, two count.
That ball's going to be outside. One, two count. Dylan Volantis looking to just get one more out at least. And that's going to be inside, 2-2. Two, two. Zach Rubenstein's fighting. Zach Volantis fixing his hat. It's sunny as all hell right now. That ball's fouled all the way out. You just fix the trajectory on that about 30 inches to the left, and that's out of here. Two-two count. That ball will be hit to short. They'll make the play. Nate Johnson. Nate Castellon. There isn't much time for the Coyotes to get a rally going. If they need to do it, they need to do it either now or in the sixth. Because at a point in time, this game ends. And you can't use the excuse of we didn't lose, we just didn't have enough time. That might be one way to do it. The catch is missed in left field. And Nate Castellon with a stand-up double. It's like he heard me talking about momentum and he responded with, you want momentum, I'll give you momentum. The left fielder, Mac McKinley, missed the catch on that, but can you really blame him? Ball was hit perfectly because it's Nate Castellon. Following Nade's going to be Matthew Whitco. If there's anything that Matthew Whitco is exceptional at, it's hitting with runners in scoring position. They've had this situation before. Nate on second or third. Whitco up to bat, and he's capitalized more than once. Let's see if he can keep adding to the streak. That's going to be a ball outside. Whitco starting his at bat off nice. Obviously, he wants a hit here, but if he gets the walk, he'll take it. That ball's going to be low. 2 0 count. That ball's outside. 3-0 count. Matthew Whitco is inching his way to that first base. Dylan Volantis will find his footing. Three balls, one strike, two outs, one of the most important at-bats of the game, and it lies in the hands of the Harvard commit, Matthew Whitco. He'll foul it off. Full count, bottom of the fifth. Folks, we're in nitty-gritty time. And I think Nolan Johnson knows that as he'll go and confer with Dylan Volantis. What pitch will he throw? Full count, two outs. 
Dylan Volantis finds the strike zone. And if that's the end of his day, he's been incredible. Through five innings, two hits, and a shutout. There's a reason this Westlake team has only lost one game. Westlake right now are 9-1. and one. If they continue on this pace, they're going to hit that double-digit mark. Lee Atkinson on the bump right now, you see. Might come in for what will be his last appearance of the game. Sorry, his last inning of the game. Lee Atkinson, yes, there's been four runs under his tally. Statistically not a great performance. But the guy has showed heart. He's kept fighting. There isn't really much more you could say about the man, about the senior who's been on varsity. He's been a winner. He knows what it's like to win. He's a part of that winning culture the Calabasas has established. His performance, no matter how bad of a spot it is on his mark, they are so much good on that mark. Noah Steed coming in for the Westlake Warriors. That'll be a ball outside. Steed's been great in his at-bats so far this game. Two balls, zero strikes on the count. Lee Atkinson. We'll find the strike zone. 2 1 count. The Calabasas crowd gives him a round of applause. That's yeah, going to be the third ball. One strike. Noah Steed looking to be the first Westlake runner on base this inning. And he'll smack that. Is it gone? It's out of here. Noah Steed. The Westlake Warriors have hit singles. They've hit doubles. They've even hit triples. Noah Steed gets a solo homer for the Westlake Warriors. And he extends their lead to five. Dylan Valantis has been excellent. The hitting for Westlake has been excellent. And that solo homer, if anything, stamps that. Calls for do it again to Jack Brattle, the current Westlake hitter. You can really feel how pumped up this Westlake team is right now. And, you know, understandably, he'll smack that past Aiden Rubenstein at first. The Westlake Warriors... Six innings deep have found a new gear. Lee Atkinson is going to be sent off. Five innings, five runs, but he is a heart and soul of this Coyote team. And as I've said before, there isn't really much else that you could ask from him.
Coming in for the Coyotes is going to be Gavin Slobin. Number 20, the right-handed relief pitcher. Slobin has been good in the innings that we've seen him. Let's see if he can just stop the bleeding whatsoever. Gavin Slobin coming in to replace Lee Atkinson. The right-handed relief pitcher has been pretty good in what we've seen of him so far. Let's see if he can just mitigate any more damage to the Calabasas side. Dylan Marisets. Going to be, uh, she, never mind. I don't know if Dylan Marisette's going to be the batter in the batter's box. No, it looks like Mac McKinley is going to be the one off the base. Yes, he is. Mac McKinley, the left fielder, has reached base a few times. Let's see if he can do it again. Appreciate that, thank you. Gavin Slobin, first pitch of his appearance today, will get a strike on Mac McKinley. McKinley smacks it just before Eamon Lynch at center field. And Jack Brattle will advance to second. Just a reminder, it's 5-0. Five, zero. five to the good of Westlake, zero for the Coyotes. Gavin Slobin for the pitch. Dylan Marisette looking for the bunt. He got one off earlier this game. Resulted in him landing at second base. That'll be past Nate Castell on it short. Jack Rattle looking to advance home. You know, he'll stay at third. Bases loaded for the Westlake Warriors. And Caden Humans, who's found home plate multiple times today, will look to send a few of his buddies home. Bases loaded for Caden Humans. Gavin Slobin needs to find his way out of this jam. It's going to be a ball just outside. That ball smacked to left field. And that's going to be an error on Simon Hoffman. 
bobbled the ball. And that'll be two more runs for Westlake. If you're a Coyote fan, you absolutely despise to see that ball came right in the glove of Simon Hoffman, just bobbled it a little bit. And the problem is when you do something a little bit bad, a lot of bad comes on your way. Three runs in the sixth inning for the Westlake Warriors, the most in any inning this game, and they've put up a seven spot on the Coyotes. Nate Johnson in the batter's box right now. He as well has made a pretty big impact hitting today. He has runners on second and third. Can he do anything with that? And that ball is continually smacked to left field. Dylan Marisette will find his way home. 8-0. Absolutely brutal. The, the Coyotes might think about swapping Gavin Slobin out. Barrel chance from the Westlake dugout. And, you know, if there's anything you can say, yeah, they're, they're barreling the ball. Nolan Johnson, the catcher, coming up to bat. That'll be ball one to start off that bat. Gavin Slobin finding the strike zone. You're a Coyote fan, you love to see that. Maybe get some mojo back in his glove. And that ball is smacked to right field this time, but it'll be caught. However, Westlake will advance. Caden Humans finding home plate now. Ladies and gentlemen, six runs have been scored this inning. A plate appearance, sorry, an appearance that Gavin Slobin, sorry, five runs have been scored this inning. My apologies. A plate appearance that Gavin Slobin would like to forget. However, he'll find the strike there. 9-0 Calabasas. At least they have an out on the scoreboard. He'll jam Will Kaczynski. Two strikes for Gavin Slobin. He'll get his first ball of the at-bat. Gavin Slobin, I mean, we're past the point of stopping the bleeding. He just needs to keep the team alive. And he'll get it. Gavin Slobin will stay in the game and hopefully face only one more batter Johnny Backus, the designated hitter. Just a reminder, runner on first. Two balls, zero strikes, two outs for Johnny Backus and the Westlake Warriors. They have put up one of their highest scoring, really just innings. You know, not even to mention game, just innings. The entire season against Calabasas tonight. And I think every, every person in the Calabasas faithful simply just have to take this game as a loss, as it is what it is, and be better next time. Nothing else you can look for but consistent improvement. Yeah. 
Gavin Sobin will walk Johnny Backus. Runners on first and second. Noah Steed, who started this entire inning off. Noah Stead, I'm sorry. Noah Stead, who started this entire inning madness off, will sit in the batter's box for the second time this inning. That'll be ball one. Let's see if he still has the magic he did against Gavin Slobin only five, ten minutes ago. Strike down the middle. Slobin's had trouble locating that two-seamer, but he'll get it there. Slobin looking for the curveball. Can't find it. And that ball smacked out to center field. Little past Damon Lynch. Sixth runner of the inning source. The Coyotes will seven score. Seven runs for the Westlake Warriors. And Coach Cassidy might be looking to finally take Gavin Slobin out. I mean, what can you really say? Seven runs in one game is a lot. Calabasas in their last match against Westlake, I believe yesterday, scored six in total. Westlake have put up a seven spot in the sixth inning. Anytime you have more runs than you are in the inning is a good sign. When you're in the sixth, that's a lot. Braden Chang will be the relief pitcher to replace Gavin Slobin. We've seen Chang in relief appearances before. He's been pretty good. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, it is 11 Westlake, 0 Calabasas, 13 hits for the Warriors, 2 for the Coyotes. And we've gone through three pitchers this inning. Braden Chang will be the third. And he's going to hit Jack Brattle with his first pitch of the at-bat. Oh, wow. Mac McKinley stepping up in the batter's box. At this point, I'm not sure it really matters what the Warriors do. They don't have to do anything more. Braden Chang will get a ball for his first pitch of the McKinley at bat. No relation to former President William McKinley, I'm sure.
1 0 count, 2 outs. That's going to be outside. 2 0. Braden Chang just needs to get one more out. Doesn't matter how he acquires it strike out, pop out, ground out, fly out. He just needs one more. And this, e this inning of misery can finally end for the Coyotes. That's going to be up and in. 3-1 for Mac McKinley. And unlike the 2016 Warriors, I'm sure Westlake won't be choking this lead anytime soon. Ducks on the pond. Runners on all three bases. Dylan Marisette, who originally led off for the Westlake Warriors at the very start of this game, which seems so long ago, will look to, at this point, maybe just stat pad. Almost hits him is Braden Chang. <laughs> One zero -oh count. It's going to be inside. It's going to be a strike. Oh, I'm sorry. 1-1 one, one count. I am so sorry for doubting you, Braden. That's going to be a nice fastball right down the middle. 1-2 count. Braden Chang one pitch away from ending this horrible, horrible sixth inning for the Coyotes. And he won't. Nate Castellon might be able to make a play. He won't. Nate Castellon slips. Won't make the play at second. And Noah Stead will score. That is eight runs for the Warriors. If they score one more, they'll have one run for each member of their current hitting lineup. And that's kind of crazy. Just a reminder... Runners filling up the bases still. Caden Humans. Er, hold on. Yeah, Caden Humans. I'm sorry. Caden Humans and the home plate know each other possibly better than Jay Z and Beyonce. If he can reach home again or just get his teammates to reach home. He will, I think, have fully established himself as a nightmare in the minds of the Calabasas pitching staff right now. Two balls, one strike, two outs. Three balls, one strike. Braden Chang just needs one good pitch. And that ball will be fouled. Fouled long over the near the right foul pole. Full count for Caden Humans. Ball inside. And that'll be another run for the Westlake Warriors. Jack Brattle scoring for what is not his first time this game. Braden Chang will start his at-bat with Nate Johnson with the ball. Uh, would just like to note that the scoreboard is one off. It is currently uh, 13 runs in total for the Westlake Warriors. I don't know what happened. And that ball is smacked 
foul ball for Nate Johnson. That was close to landing in the great depths of the right field corner. One ball, two strikes, and he'll hit him. That really should just be like a forfeit option, you know? Mac McKinley come in and touch home base. Runners totaling the bases. <laughs> I mean... At what point does this become funny? And I say this as a Calabasas student, as a Calabasas resident. I, more than my Yankees want, is that ball gone? No, Eamon Lynch will catch it and end the inning. Calabasas escapes a nightmare. Dylan Volantis, I believe I said uh, last inning that the fifth inning would be Volantis' last. He's still in there. Dylan Volantis has, if he goes for the seventh, a chance to pitch a two-hit shutout while his offense provides him with 14 runs. The Warriors have 13 hits. They have more runs than hits. Usually not how that happens. John Carlos Stanton's wet dream of a game. Dylan Volantis will make his sixth inning of work start right here. Simon Hoffman coming in at bat. Dylan Volantis, if you think he'd gotten rusty from all that time waiting on the bench as the Westlake Warriors scored a 10 spot, no, he hasn't. He's still here. One, one, count, zero outs. I mean, 14 runs is a lot. Like, let's, let's, like, what's, like, the all time record for, in, like, major leagues? Like a, a comeback, you know? Mariners have some, like, 10-run ones, but 14 runs is so many. That ball smacked. Simon Hoffman gives the Coyote crowd something to smile about. Will Stubbs looking to 
do something with the runner on first. One ball, zero strikes. Dylan Volantis is locating that fastball like it's child's play. It'll be a ball, 2-1 count. If you look at the scoreboard right now, it says 1-0. Uh, That's 10. They're using the one run from the fifth inning to signify 10 runs. And that ball is going to be popped up. Will Kaczynski will barely have to move to get there. And they've already done one-third of the work. Have the Westlake Warriors. Beautiful slider from Dylan Volantis. He's pitching a Mark Burley game right now. You know, speed running it. As little time as possible spent, the better. One ball, one strike, one out. 14 runs for the Wesley Warriors. Zero for your Calabasas Coyotes. They're going to count that as a strike against Mason Shulman. Shulman, a great hitter, a great batter. But you have to question if there's any chance of impact here. That's going to be drop third strike it looks like, but he'll tag him, he'll get him out. Coming into bat, Jack Quirk. I believe in the spot of Chris Cotton, who was in the spot for AJ Seidel, who got injured. It's going to be one ball, zero strikes, two outs. Swing and a miss. Dylan Volantis. Found heat to begin with, and he's kept heat through the entire game. Punch out from Dylan Volantis. 1-1 one, one count. Two outs. Sorry, 2-1 count. No, 1-2 count. Sorry. 2-2 two, two now. Two's all across the board. One more out for the Westlake Warriors. And they finish this sixth inning off in one of the most domineering fashions I've ever seen in any sports game. That'll be a foul ball way out of here. Full count, Jack Work, just looking to do something. Punch out, Dylan Volantis. MLB scouts have been here and were here. If there's any guy that they want to know about, it's Dylan Volantis. Josh Bowers looking to close it out for the Coyotes.
Connor Jacobson coming in for the Westlake Warriors. He'll start his at bat off. He'll start his day off in the game with a strike. Next ball Bar throws will be a ball. That ball's fired towards the right foul line. Go, Josh! Mr. Berkson with the enthusiasm. That ball might be gone. Caught by left fielder. Caught by Simon Hoffman in left field. Just Barely. Josh Bowers, for the first time in a while, gets a Calabasas out slow and easy. Sorry, fast and easy. Mason Charles in his first at bat of the game. We'll get a hit by pitch and he'll advance to first. Jesse Beer will be replacing Noah Stead. Bowers finds the strike zone. 0 1 count. One one count. If you're a Coyote fan, you're really just hoping for this game to end as soon as possible. Two balls, one strike. Weekly hit, grounder to short. They'll make the play at second. One more out. Mason Burlinger will replace Jack Rattle. Mason Burlinger skies that ball over the head of the shortstop. And Jesse Beer will find second. Mason Burlinger will find first. Mac McKinley gets the ball past the shortstop again. And we have runners on the, on all three infield bases. Two outs. Two outs. Dylan Marisett. I mean, at this point, the knife has been stabbed into the back of Calabasas, taken out of the back of Calabasas. Calabasas' body has been put through an autopsy. Dylan Mara said, swing and a miss. At this point, uh, the horse is dead. 
Westlake, I'm not sure they care. One ball, one strike, two outs. Dylan Bowers will get the strike. One more K, and he will end the top of the seventh. That ball is fouled. Go, Josh. Chance of let's go, Josh. Fortunately, we'll just lead to a ball. Deuces all across the scoreboard. Full count. I also like to mention, I believe that is um, Connor Pink. Uh, or Dylan Arborio catching right now. I believe that's Dylan Arborio. Dylan Marisette hits one into right. No runs scored in the top of the seventh. Ladies and gentlemen, Dylan Volantis has finally been taken out of the game. Mason Charles coming in to replace him. Dylan Volantis, just want to comment on his game so far. Obviously, we represent Calabasas, but when you see an incredible performance, you have to comment on it. Six innings, three hits, zero runs. I mean, like, can, can an ERA go negative? Can an ERA go negative? I don't know if it can, but in the case of Dylan Volantis in high school baseball... He's a good candidate. Brandon Hoffman. Coming up to bat for the Coyotes. He'll lead off at the bottom of the seventh. Inside, it's going to be ball one. Go, Brandon. Again, Mason Charles pitching for the Westlake Warriors. He'll find the strike zone. One one count.
explosive swing and a miss. One, two count. Mason Charles looking to get his first out of the game. Fouled into the top of the foul netting. 2-2 two -two count. Brandon Hoffman just looking to get some solace before the end of the game. He'll fire it to short. Short will get the first. That'll be one out for Westlake. Nathan Rosenfeld stepping up the box. Last time we cast him, he was in right field. Made a plethora of great catches. Nathan Rosenfeld, swing and a miss. O2 count against Nathan Rosenfeld. That pitch will be low. And Rosefeld will take it for a ball. Swing and a miss. Mason Charles making quick work. Zach Rubenstein, your ASB president. Might be the last batter to represent Calabasas in this game. And if there's anything to lessen your morale as a Calabasas fan, it'll be starting that at bat with a strike. Check swing, not there. 1-1 one, one count. Swing and a miss. Mason Charles just, just hitting these batters down. Just gunning them down. He'll hit one to third. Will that end the game? Yes, it will. The Westlake Warriors dominate the Calabasas Coyotes 14 to nothing. I'm Kai Asad. This has been Calabasas Broadcasting. We will see you soon. Goodbye and good night.